Pastry brush. Um, yeah, I have the silicone brush, garlic oh, okay. press, cheese grater, chopper, chopper, whatever. So anyway, you're going to list the things that you're actually using with that recipe. Then you're going to add up the dollar of products actually used. Now I think to myself when I'm talking about the bar pan, I can talk about the stoneware collection. Um, and you're going to go across. If I'm talking about the garlic press, I might also mention the garlic slicer. Um, Italian seasoning, I might mention the pantry line. So what you come up with is the dollar amount that you actually use, so an actual value, and then kind of what my cross-selling value is. If I'm uh, if I'm having an opportunity to talk about stoneware, because I'm using the stoneware pan, I might tell them more about how stoneware totally transforms your oven and creates like a brick lined oven. And has anybody purchased pizza from a pizza parlor or bread from a bakery? You know, you can duplicate those same results in your own kitchen. Now you're not gonna go out and buy a $30,000 oven, but you can buy this $30 piece of stoneware and you can create the effects of a brick line oven in your own home. So tonight we're using the bar pan, but you know, depending on the size of your family, you need the small one. You know, if you have kids and you're just doing a couple chicken nuggets, or you might want the one that's a casserole size dish, or my deep, you know, covered baker, and talk about roasting chicken in the oven and the juice and stuff. So there might be some recipes that will have a small actual value, and they might not be show worthy. You know, when you really assess, how does somebody like a Tennille Eubanks do it? How does a Michael Reese do it? He always does the best of the best. He does the star power kind of recipes, the main course cooking recipes, the recipes that people could see them making for dinner in their own homes. And I really think that that's important. Um, Product knowledge is key. I just sort of told you, but um, storytelling. If you're gonna write something down, write down stories, Story sell, tell. words tell. Words tell, stories sell. So I could say to you, you know, um, imagine baking the best cookies you've ever made in your life. And I will tell you that they did some research on cookie baking. This is very true. They tried out all these different cookie sheets. The number one best cookies were baked on a baking stone with a piece of parchment paper. The second best cookies in all the world were baked on the stone without the parchment paper. And then other kind of cookie sheets and stuff were further down the line. There really is magic in a baking stone. Um, or I might tell about my family cooking and, and a family meal and how you can whip together, you know, 
the best, most juiciest chicken. You know, think about the 30 minute chicken in the rock rock done in the microwave. And I know everybody is like thinking that is impossible. But let me tell you it's possible. And it's, and you describe it and it's juicy and the meat's falling off the bone. And you lift out the chicken and it looks like you made soup because all that broth is on the bottom. Now don't throw that away. That broth is valuable and you can use it as a base for this and that. You're giving tips, you're giving added value. Or you're slicing up a pepper and you're like, you know, I just want to tell you one thing. If you only need a half of a pepper, this is how you cut it in half across the equator. Use this bottom half. Leave the top with the seeds on it. The pepper doesn't know it's missing half of itself. It's going to keep fresher in your fridge longer. Or, and, you know, tell them about, you know, family meal times and how you were able to put something quick on your table and in minutes. You know, you can go out and order takeout. Um, but in the same amount of time it takes, your, takes you to get in the car and go pay for it and pick it up and bring it home, the meal could have been on the table for a third of the cost. And so much better. And healthy in a hurry is, is a big thing. All right, so, got that? Selling skills, permission to buy. Write this one down, this is huge. Permission to buy statements. This is advanced selling 101 because all of us, and, and Nancy Joe said there's a difference between men and women at a show. Men see the value in power tools. They'll go, if I need to drill a hole, I will use an electric drill. drill. I will not use a hand auger that great great grandfather used before the invention of electricity. They will use what's current and good and the right tool for the right job. But yet, as women, we're thinking, oh, do I really need that? I, I've always peeled this with my knife, you know, blah, blah, blah. So you're going to say things. You're going to learn how to use permission to buy statements. This is what it sounds like. All right, we all know that we have power tools in our garage. What's a power tool that you might use in the, su in, in the warmer weather, the summertime? To the lawnmower, right? But the lawnmower is something that maybe you only use part of the year, not year round. And what's a power tool that you might use, well, down here, in the winter, if you're up in Chicago, <laughs> we have a snow blower that you know you might use five or eight times a year, but thank God you have it. And the 10 months out of the year, it sits in storage. Well, in your kitchen, you have power tools, and it's your cookware. And do we use it just two months out of the year? No, no we use it year long. And you not only use it every week, but you probably use it every day. And many of you probably use your cookware several times in the same day. So investing in your cookware is even more important than having a good lawnmower. Blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. Or how many of you have more than four people in your family? Raise your hand. More than four people in your family? Raise your hand. Okay, so I want you guys to think. You're taking your family of you know six out to dinner. <coughs> You're going to Chili's, Applebee's, Friday's, blah, 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 for a, a meal. And everybody orders a drink and gets a meal, and maybe you share an appetizer, maybe you share a dessert or two. Think about what the average price of that normal going out as a family meal is. <coughs> well, I will bet you, for the cost of two or three meals out, you will have paid for your double burger grill pan and press. But this is an investment piece that you're going to use every week for your family in the kitchen making the best, most delicious meals. And you could give them a little bit more about why you would use your double burner grill <coughs> pan. So I have justified a big ticket item because I'm having them visualize. Yeah, when I go out a couple times with my family, what's the bill? What does three times out add up to? Oh my gosh, there's my double burner grill burner grill pan and prep, or there's my rock rock. You know, so you're justifying the price. Or you're worth it, your health is worth it. Time is worth it, you know? Um, you are what you eat, so most of our, us are fast, easy, and cheap. So, um, <laughs> <laughs> but you really do wanna show the cornerstone products. That centerfold is a centerfold on, pur on purpose. It is our meal collection, so. Um, invite and ask for what you want. So when you have your party, you deserve to own. 
you deserve to have. Your time is valuable, and isn't it more important to sit around the table with your family than be in the kitchen cooking it? And with this double burner gr griddle, no, I'm talking griddle now. Oh, okay. um, I can actually eat with the family. I'm going to make enough grilled cheese that all of us are going to eat at once. And by the way, our cookware is like the Amish microwave. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm going to be traveling out to Miriam Miller's team um, September 28th. They use their double burner griddle on the stove, mm -hmm. but they also use it in their oven all the time. And they. Um, make these wonderful cinnamon rolls, and a lot of times they freeze that dough, they will thaw out those cinnamon rolls actually on the griddle, and then it will rise on there, and they will actually bake it right in the oven. And they will use it to make cookies that are soft. You know how nice and crisp cookies get on our stones? That doesn't happen when you cook on our cookware. You get a softer, chewier cookie. So if you want cookies that are real soft, you bake it on your griddle. Mm -hmm. And so they do some recipes where the, you know, like the, you know, kind of farmer's breakfast where you're, you know, you can take your veggie stripper and do some hash brown potatoes, add some sliced or chopped vegetables to that, kind of be doing it on the stove, pour your eggs on it, put the whole thing in your oven to finish baking it off. And then you have your um, plastic spatula and just serve it and you have like a real easy, put some grated cheese on top when it comes out. It's a wonderful breakfast skillet for everybody using off some of your cookware. I digress, where am I at? Okay, um, uh, stripper, using humor at your shows, laugh. <laughs> stripper. <laughs> you know, <laughs> yeah, um, let's talk about the shop and share. This is something I just learned. So, you know, I wanna um, take one little side note. I just learned this. I want all of you to go to Pampered Chef College. Pampered Chef College is as simple as investing five minutes a day to going to pamperedchef.com, looking up product information. There are videos, there's use in care cards, there's all kinds of information. Know your products. So David Meenan, who was number one in sales, was doing a workshop at National Conference. And he talked about people sharing at their sh his show their favorite products. But he'll say, you know, I want everybody to go around the room and share your favorite product, but here are three questions that I want you to answer. Was it easy to use? Is it easy to clean? And would you recommend it to everyone here? Like, what do you use it for that they might use it in their own kitchen? So let's say we were talking about the garlic press. And Rohana says, my favorite item is the garlic press. My favorite press. item is the garlic press. Was it easy to use? Now, you've got to answer those three questions. Is it easy to use? Yes. Well, tell is it easy to use? Mm -hmm. Oh, you <laughs> just throw the garlic in there. You don't even need to take the skin off, right? Yeah. Is it easy to clean? I throw it in the dishwasher. Yes, and it also has that little tool that came mm -hmm. with it to get yeah. the stuff out. And would you recommend everybody have a garlic press? Absolutely. It's good for your cholesterol. Yeah. Well, she would not be the guest that I would <laughs> <laughs> use as example. But normally at a party, people get more enthusiastic. What's your favorite product? Rock Rock. rock. So you're a guest at my show, and I want you to say, is it easy to use? Is it's, it easy to clean? It's easy to use oh. because I work 10 hours a day. I come home and cook a meal in 30 minutes. I throw it in the dishwasher, and I would recommend everybody to get it if you want a simple way to cook 30 minute, or, 30 minute meals or less. Excellent, good job. Yeah. She, she has sold the rock rock for me. Yeah. Let's, let's just practice, one more person. Have a favorite product? Use those three questions. Let's just practice, okay. How does California start? How okay.
discussion can change that shop and share time because everybody is then going to explain a little bit more. Um, so um, the recruiting segment and the booking segment, I just want to tell you, booking a show is the same as buying a food shopper, okay? If you don't sell the features and benefits of the food shopper, nobody's going to buy the food shopper, even if they see it in the catalog normally, unless somebody else told them ahead of time what you need as a Pamper Chef food shopper. So you need to talk about having a show all throughout the show. The mistake that some people make <coughs> is we're having the party, we're going to stop, and we're going to interrupt this party for a commercial break, and I'm going to tell you all why you should have a party, and then we're going to go on to the rest of the show. And what do you do during the commercials at home? Fast forward, change the channel. Bathroom break. Bathroom break, that kind of stuff. What do people do at a show when you start talking about having a show? Okay, so the best way to do that is to integrate it throughout your show so that you've already said it, done it, and you're on to the next thing. They didn't even know that you did it. So let's say we're using the manual, well, I'm, let's, because I talk food chopper, I'm using my food chopper and going, oh my gosh, this is great. I don't know if any of you make homemade stuffing. Anybody at Thanksgiving time make the stuffing? Mm -hmm. I couldn't imagine making my <coughs> stuffing without having my food chopper for chopping my celery and onions and stuff. And this was one of the reasons why, you know, uh, a lot of my hosts have a party is to get this for free, and, along with a whole lot of other things. And we're go going around. Or we're talking about the rock rock. Oh my gosh, most of my hosts choose the rock rock as one of the reasons they book a party to get that at half price or even more. Uh, or this came, we're doing something and oh my God, I love this. It came in my kit. You know, and then they're comparing the value. You know, probably the best product, everybody always asks me, what's the best product in the catalog? Turn to the back of the catalog. I gotta really honestly tell you, the best product is actually my business. This has changed my life. Now, you can look at this and go, God, this is a great deal. Wouldn't you like a deal? You know, normally this pizza stone is like 32 or $33. If, if it's part of the collection of the kit, it's $6. You know, manual food processor is what, 50? 52.50. In the, in the kit, it's only $6 if you do the value of the kit. Um, so some people will do something like that and say, yeah, this is a great deal, but the best thing about this deal is that it allows you an opportunity to earn extra income doing something that's fun. And um, it's changed my life, it could change yours. So you kind of weave that in. But there are the booking slide that you can have somebody hold up and put out for you. There are lots of support information on pcteamtraining.com about recruiting. John Johnson, who is number one recruiter, who's on our team, so um, you're related to him in a way. He's your cousin, <laughs> twice removed or whatever. And um, he does like the uh, stealing hearts. So he has three paper bags. He has like maybe tickets. 15 or 16 tickets usually 15 tickets that he takes out and he goes uh, we're gonna play this game you are gonna get a ticket for asking a question and the only questions about my business and he you can watch information about the ticket game and he's gonna hand out those tickets then he's got three prizes they're basically lunch bags with three different colors tissue paper he has a few different things inside like seasons best and little things and then as he calls a number, the first person with that number gets the first bag, the second person gets the second bag, the third gets the third. If he calls your number twice and you have a bag, he goes on to the next because he wants three winners. But what happens is he's watching the crowd. You've got to watch your crowd because it's not the person who's asking the question, it's the person who's nodding or leaning forward or acting interested. And so he is recognizing who those people are. Nancy Jo told you she picks three people that she's going to talk to. So, you know. Oh, and I didn't finish that thought. I call him back the next day, and I'll say, I can't, I can't help but call you back. I couldn't stop thinking about you last night. I would love to work with you because, or, you know, I saw this in you. 
and um, it's perfect for our business, that kind of thing. Yeah, and you also, don't be afraid to ask what, for what you want. Um, what is your name? Natalie. Natalie. I might go up to you and say, Natalie. I couldn't help but notice. <laughs> and you say whatever you want. You know, Mike, I am looking for a couple young people to add to my team because our company is really wanting to get involved in um, with the younger people who are real familiar with social networking and Pinterest and Flickr or Flatter or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> or whatever it is. And don't they do something like snapping? Snapchat. 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 OK, whatever that is. So I don't know if you could use any extra money if you have any school loans or anything. But if you ever thought about getting a second job or a little extra income, watch what I do tonight. I would love to talk to you. Ask for what you want. Yeah. Or if you see somebody who's a really quality person or they're really fun, don't be afraid to say, oh, I can't wait to do a party at your house. Right. You know, or whatever. Relate to them. It's really OK. So finishing up, um, what are the three things that you want to have at the end of your show? What's my three messages? Uh, I, book, book join. join. So what could be, do you mind if I ask you like how you close out your show or how you close out your show to give us a sample? You've got two wonderful leaders here. I mean, you've got more than two wonderful leaders. But I would love to hear how you end your show. What is your final words at a party? I mean, like near the, the end. very end. Yeah. Whatever, at the yeah. end or near the very end. Like you know how we did the beginning. They we're talking to the host. We're thinking. What would be one of your final things that you might say? Well, I mean, I just again thank my host for having me, and I invite you all to take a closer look at this business that I've shared throughout the night. And I hope you had a great time. And until we eat at the next person's house, very nice. I mean, mine is always until we eat at the next person's house. That's my final word Until of that. Until we eat again. Yes. So. Rahama, how about you? I'm feeling a little um, like the garlic press. <laughs> <laughs> I'll share tomorrow at the dinner. Okay, I'll we'll share more at the dinner. But no, that's all right. Um, I always use a raffle slip, and I'm going to tell you why. I know some people do, some people don't. But I think it's really important to use a survey slip. There are people in the room, and I was one of them, that couldn't afford to buy that night. And if there wasn't a raffle slip, I wouldn't have had an order form for Nancy Joe to have my information. Mm -hmm. So sometimes people even put orders together. Really? <laughs> so that means that there's somebody that you didn't get information Unless from. Yeah. So however you want to use it, I call it a second chance drawing. Like if I'm doing a raffle for the tickets I gave out for that, mm -hmm. then I would say we have a second Same chance chance drawing okay. and here's this. Everybody all everybody's got an even chance of winning and I would use it. But I want to capture some information on there. Mm -hmm. I want to be able to follow up with anybody. And this is where I might say my buy book or joint statement, I might say, you know, I hope you find I hope did you have fun tonight? Wasn't it yes. fun? They want to eat, so by the now they, they've eaten or tasted. Isn't this great? I would love to be invited into your home to um, have a fun party with you and your friends. It's a great time of the year. I might throw out a couple different theme show ideas. You know, what a great fun way to shop for the holidays. Your friends could come over. and um, Or it's a great way to shower yourself with some extra free things uh, for yourself. How many of you are on Facebook? OK. Having friends on Facebook is really nice, but isn't it nice here tonight to be face to face with friends? Mm -hmm. I encourage you to use me as the excuse to get together with your friends because life is short and um, we need more time together. We really do. And what's better than to eat and drink with friends, right? So um, you could party for a purpose if it's not for you and you have everything that you could possibly desire in your kitchen and the best of the best, then maybe choose to donate what you get to your favorite cause. Or maybe we could do a freezer meal workshop and fill the freezer of a friend who could use the meals or whatever. You could throw out some different ideas. Um, everything that you buy from me tonight is guaranteed. That's one of the things about Pampered Chef. We are like the consumer reports of the kitchen. 
and we stand behind our products. There's a little symbol next to things that will tell you if it's an L, it means lifetime, three means three years, uh, we stand behind our products. I take all forms of payment, and um, I use Michael's line. We take the um, <laughs> sort of witness, the spouse protection program, we'll take a little cash, a little check, a little charge, more than one charge, however you want to split up the payment. Nobody will know what you actually ordered tonight. Um, if you're thinking about having a party, let me know when, what month or what's good for you. There's some host packets out on the table. Grab one, take it with you to order. I would love to plan a party with you. And last but not least, I would love to invite each one of you to think about joining me in this incredible company. I don't know if you've ever heard of a man named Warren Buffett. Yes. Yeah, we're part of his holdings. We're, he chooses companies that are the gold value, and we're the best of the best, and we're part of Berkshire Hathaway. And I just want to say, um, it's really, a, it's changed my life, and I would tell something personal for me. And so I can't tell who here, I don't have a magic, who here could use a couple extra hundred dollars a month or more um, I would love to give you more information. So let's talk. Thank you until we eat again or whatever. And we're done. Yay. 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 Yay.